Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the talking shed. Hey, behind me, we've got a John Deere 250 R Series tractor with a 1775 16 row. You can see some fertilizer tanks hanging on here. You can see some no-till colders on the ground. Let's turn this thing around and talk about what we're doing. That's what we like to see right there. In some, some places, those no-till colders do have their place but not on this 1770 here today. Uh, this is a planter that is new to this customer and uh, very nice planter. And his goal was, you know, he wanted row cleaners on here that could move trash, whether it was heavy cover crops or, or maybe some, some minimum uh, till, maybe you did uh, just had a little bit of, of bean residue. Either way, they had to be adjustable. They had to be flexible. And, and match the diverse conditions. And so we've got the Martin ACCR parallel linkage uh, row cleaners on the front of here. Of course, we've got an air cylinder tied into that. Uh, you may have seen some videos we've done with the clean sweep system. Basically, this allows this row cleaner, if you can see that, to flow up and down as you control that air from the cab. Now this planter did not have air on it, so we're gonna be mounting this clean sweep controller right up front here. And there will be a controller up in the cab that you can dial these row cleaners very accurately in with. So it'll be a <clears throat> pretty clean, pretty sweet setup design. We went with the shark tooth wheels interlocking i really like those features uh, when they interlock like that there's no residue that's going to get past those things um, they won't get overwhelmed in high residue because they're working together um, that that's a pretty slick setup right there so step one was row cleaners out the front getting rid of the no-till colders from there uh, he wanted to tackle the fertilizer setup um, up front here was John Deere single disc fertilizer openers. There were 16 of them, you know, mounted out front. They've got that gauge wheel on them. Good units, but they're heavy. They've got a lot of wear points to them, um, a lot of maintenance. And a lot of guys are going to just something a lot simpler. Stainless tubes out the back. Um, you know, I can't say enough about the efficiency of these. Um, these, I tell guys, they allow you to just plant corn. They're gonna place the fertilizer down here on each side of the row. They're not gonna plug. They're not going to need bearings mid-season. Uh, they're not gonna wear out. It's super, super simple. Now, I do get a lot of questions about putting this fertilizer on top and I've had a lot of success doing it. Some guys will put some stabilizer in there. Some guys will just add a little bit more 28. Most guys don't do anything different and don't see any difference as far as volatility with that fertilizer. This time of year when we're planting mid-April to late May into June, there's a lot of soil biology going on down here. There, the temperatures are right for the surface of that soil to have a lot of biology. Um, we're typically getting rains very frequently, especially this year. Um, so it's not like we're doing this in July and it's 85 degrees every day. So um, I have not seen issues with this system whatsoever. And you can see right here how it's bolting up, two bolts, drilling holes into the back of that. Super simple, quick, and easy. So we're gonna take the fertilizer lines that were once going to the uh, single disc openers keep in mind this does have the exact apply uh, system this wet line running across here so it's got exact apply so it's metering every row and uh, we're going to take that hose that I just showed you bring it back here y it off for those totally tubulars from there uh, there was a little bit of a different infuro system in place. This right here, it was just kind of a hose that was aiming down at the trench. 
Uh, so we went with a Keaton seed firmer. These 1775s, you know, this is a belt planter. Um, so what they do is they have a little bracket that moves this closing wheel tailpiece back probably six inches and you can put a quick attach Keaton up in there. And so we went right to the furrow, right to the jugular with that uh, in furrow system. So we're going to run this tube uh, back up into this check valve right here that's mounted on the parallel arm which this is a Wilger check valve and it does bolt fast to your parallel arms. That's something we're gonna be using a lot more of. I talked to Wilger yesterday about it. They gave me the part numbers and I really like how it can be bolted to really any hole right here on your parallel arms and holds fast, allows you to uh, open it up. There we go. Allows you to open it up pretty easily get to that orifice if you have to and uh, I really like that setup. So from there um, it had Yetter poly twisters on it already and we're putting new rings on it to uh, have him get, get a fresh start on wheels. So we're taking these wheels apart putting the poly rings on them and uh, I'm gonna get those mounted back up here get them spaced properly at that inch and a quarter gap down here at the bottom, and we'll be good to go. There's a view of that prior in furrow system before we got it taken off. So this planter is gonna be pretty dang sweet when it's done. It's got a pair of wing tanks out here. I think those are 200 gallon. It's got a center tank that I think is maybe five. 600 gallon so he's carrying some fertilizer but overall pretty sweet setup we got to finish mounting the row cleaners got to finish getting all these closing wheels on and we will be uh we'll be ready to get this thing in and out of the shop uh and and back to the back to the farmer it's april 11th today we got a bunch of rain here in ohio again but it won't be long and these row cleaners will be making paths out in the field. So that's what we're doing today, taking a planter that's already good, a really good base chassis of a 1775, making it a little bit better with every piece that we're putting on it. Getting rid of the no-till colder, removing the heavy John Deere single disc openers, putting on the stainless tubes, more efficient, less troubles, smoother ride. That's what we're after. Thanks for tuning in.